Sharon Williams Pure White is a versatile warm off white paint color that can be used for kitchen cabinets, main interior wall paint colors, trims, interior doors, ceiling, and exterior applications, just to name a few. So if you're looking for a warm off white that's not too warm, it doesn't have the pronounced yellow undertones, then this just might be the right paint color for your home. However, that doesn't mean that Sharon One's Pure White can work in just any home. That's not true. I help thousands of online clients every year and I see this time and time again. I don't want you to make this costly mistake. You've got to be mindful of your fixed elements and lighting. These are the two biggest mistakes that I see people make. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of Sharon One's Pure White comparing it with your fixed elements and why lighting can influence how this paint color could look like in your home. And I'm gonna compare it with some other off-whites so that you can see what makes this off-white unique. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips about pairing Sharon Williams Pure White with some other colors as I wanna help lead you in the right direction. So one of the conversations I have when I'm speaking to my online clients in a live video call one-on-one -on -one, is I always talk about the importance undertone of a paint color because that's the first step on getting it right. So for today, Sharon Williams Pure White, what is that? It's a warm off white, but it's not too warm. And I'm gonna show you by comparing with some other paint colors so that one, you can see why it's a warm off white, and then you're gonna find out pretty quickly why it's not that warm. So watch this. So watch what happens when I compare Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White to Sherwin-Williams Pure White. And by the way, Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White is considered a true off-white, which means it's not cool, it's not warm, it's just a really bright white. Watch this. You're gonna notice how pure white is muted and how high reflective white is clean. And when you hear me say the word muted, what I'm really trying to tell you is that it's soft as high reflective white is light and as bright. And notice this, you're gonna notice how Sharon Williams pure white, it has that touch of warmth. And that touch of warmth is a little bit of a yellow undertone. That is what makes Sharon Williams a warm off white. So we know Sharon Williams Pure White is a warm off white. I wanna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna compare it with Sharon Williams Greek Villa, which is considered a warm off white. Watch this. When you compare Greek Villa with Sharon Williams Pure Off White, you're gonna notice how Greek Villa is muted, it's warmer, and the yellow undertones are more pronounced than Sharon Williams Pure White, as it almost looks like a clean off white with just a touch of warmth. Now I want to show you a different perspective about Sharon Williams Pure White. Why is considered a light warm off white? We know that it's not warm, it's not creamy like Sharon Williams Great Villa, and that can be true if you compare it to Alabaster or Sharon Williams White Tail. Those are really creamy warm off whites. And we know that Sharon Williams Pure White it's warmer than a true off-white. That's why it's called a warm off-white. But watch what happens when I compare it to a warm off-white that's lighter than Sharon Williams Pure White called White Snow. And you can only find White Snow in the Emerald Designer Edition. So watch this. When you compare Pure White with White Snow, you can instantly see how Pure White is warmer, it's muted, and you see that little bit of yellow undertone. In comparison to White Snow, it almost looks like a true off-white, but it's not. It has just a touch of warmth. So there you have it. Now you know why Sharon Williams is considered a light warm off white. Next, I'm gonna share with you the importance of natural and artificial lighting when comparing it with Sharon Williams pure white. When it comes to lighting, this is an area where a lot of people struggle on getting it right, especially with off-white paint colors, and Sharon Williams Pure White is no different. So this is a pretty complex topic. I don't want to take too much of your time. I just want to help lead you into the right direction. So I'm just going to touch on just a few topics so that you're aware of it because I don't want you to make a costly mistake. So the first one is natural lighting. 
you need to be mindful of the space that you're thinking about painting Sharon Williams pure white. If it's a trim, a ceiling, interior doors, you're going to be okay for the most part. But if you're thinking about painting a main interior wall paint color, then this is where it gets critical. If you don't receive a lot of natural lighting, it could be north facing it could be northeast facing don't be surprised if it looks dingy or cold and sometimes it can cast a little bit of a blue undertone and the other area that you need to be mindful of is artificial lighting and this is a really important topic here because artificial lighting it can change the ambience of a space so what do i mean by that so let's say that you have a new home, you're thinking about painting your main interior walls with Sherwin-Williams Pure White, and you have 5,000 Kelvin, chances are it's gonna make Pure White look cold. And don't be surprised if it might look a little bit blue because of the type of lighting you have. You could probably fix this problem by just changing your artificial lighting. Maybe go a little bit warmer, try 4,000 Kelvin, or maybe 3,500 Kelvin. And then the other subject that you need to be mindful of is what are the fixed elements outside of your windows? And this is going to have a big play. And what I mean by that, let's just say your neighbor's home has red bricks or maybe your neighbor's fence is stained in red. Don't be surprised if your inner walls look like a little bit of a pink undertone or maybe you're surrounded by trees everywhere. Don't be surprised to see the green undertones on your walls. And one last thing, what about your windows? Are your windows tinted? If you have tinted windows, if you have blue tinted windows, don't be surprised if Sharon Wise Pure White will look cold. You gotta go warmer than pure white, especially with blue tinted windows. And that's no different than green tinted windows because your walls will cast that green undertone. You got to go warmer. So the bottom line is, please be mindful on the type of lighting that you have in your home. When it comes to fixed elements, it's important that you get this right. And there are two things that you should always do. Number one, get a paint sample of Sherwin-Williams Pure White. And speaking of that, make sure that the paint sample is not color matched and verify the source of where you're getting this paint sample from. If they're not using Sherwin-Williams paint products, then it's not going to be the same color that you're hoping to expect it to be. And number two, you need to identify the undertones of your fixed cellulose that you have in your home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just give you an example, and this happens a lot. Let's say you have a home and you want to paint your kitchen cabinets and your kitchen cabinets is honey oak and your kitchen countertops is a really light cream or maybe it's a little bit of a beige, a cream, and a little bit of a taupe and let's say that your floor tiles are a mix of a cream, a beige, and a taupe as well and what you want to do is you want to update the kitchen and the first thing that you're going to do is paint the kitchen cabinets and you get Sharon Williams Pure White and you compare it to the kitchen countertops and what happens? Sharon Williams Pure White is going to look really clean and it's going to make that kitchen countertop look really creamy. It's going to make it look old and outdated and the same thing is true for those bossy undertones in your floor tiles that have that taupe and that cream and that beige. So if you were to paint your kitchen cabinets with Sharon Williams Pure White in this scenario, it's not going to be cohesive. It's not going to be harmonious. It's going to be too clean. It's going to be too bright. You've got to go warmer. For example, in this case, think about maybe Sherwin Williams Ivory Lace. That's just one example. So take your time, get a paint sample, compare it with your fixed elements, and always ask yourself, what are the undertones in my space? And how is Sherwin Williams Pure White gonna look like in comparison to what I have in my home? I want you to get this right. Chances are you're watching this video because you want to learn more about Sharon Williams Pure White. And the last thing you want to do is make a costly mistake and spend hundreds to tens of thousands of dollars and not liking this paint color in your home. And if you're serious about getting it right the first time, highly recommend you 
go to my website. I help thousands of online clients every year to get the right paint color that will pair correctly with their fixed elements and their interior decor. And I can help you with both interior and exterior applications. And please read the reviews, see what clients have to say. I have over 600 reviews. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna share with you just a few tips that you should know about comparing other paint colors with Sherwin-Williams Pure White. When it comes to comparing other paint colors with Sherwin-Williams Pure White, it's almost unlimited, as long as you have the right fixed elements and the lighting to pull it off. It's really about the ambience that you wanna create, the mood that you wanna feel. For example, let's say that you're doing a big remodel in your kitchen and you wanna lighten it up you got the right lighting to pull it off in the fixed elements. You paint the kitchen cabinets pure white, the walls pure white, the ceiling pure white, and then you can kind of create that moody, modern edge to it. Then you might want to try out Benjamin Moore wrought iron, or maybe you want to try out Sherwin-Williams iron ore. They're fantastic charcoal grays. Or maybe you might own a bed and breakfast property at a ski resort and you want to update the rooms. Then paint the bedroom Sharon Williams pure white and paint the accent wall and the interior doors the same paint color. And let's just say that you have pine wood or maybe you have like that orange beige wood. I would do something like a muted orange such as Sharon Williams cavern clay or Sharon Williams earthen jug. They're absolutely stunning. Or let's just say that you have a bedroom and you just want to walk in there and you want to feel relaxing, calming and soothing. Then try out Benjamin Moore Beach Glass, which is a blue green. It's got a little bit of a gray in it. Or if you want to go a little bit lighter, then try out Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt, which is a beautiful blue green. And you paint your trims and you paint your interior doors and your ceilings with Sherwin-Williams Pure White. It's going to create that soothing ambiance that you're looking for. So the bottom line is, I want you to have fun, but just please be mindful of the fixed elements and the lighting that you have in your home. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.